fainted. What? What is right? Here on a popular news website that has totally gone to crap is um, the U.S. death toll doubles in two days. Oh, my goodness. Let's look at the stats on that. Be prepared so you can be really scared. The CDC reported a diagnosis is since January 1st. As of today, there are 124,763 reported, not deaths, or diagnoses. Let's drill in a little bit because it's scary. Deaths since January 1st, top 10 causes of deaths. Let's see, where is uh, coronavirus? Oh, it's down here. So that's as of today, 1,790. But 156,000 people have died of cancer, of heart disease since January 1st. 145,000 people have died of cancer. 60,000 people have died of medical errors. That means doctors killed them. It was a mistake. Sorry, wrong diagnosis. Maybe like this Corona flu, the Communist Chinese Party flu. Accidents, the number of people have died of 41,000. 38,000 people died of chronic respiratory disease. Uh, 35,000 people died of stroke. 29,000 people of Alzheimer's. 20,000 people of diabetes. 13,000 people have died of influenza and pneumonia. 12,000 people have died of nephritis, and 11,425 people have died of suicide. How many people have died of um, the CCP flu? 1,790 people. Well, what does that break down to on a daily rate? You can still see over here in the far uh, right bottom corner, 20 people, actually that should say 24, my chart's a little bit off, but 24 people per day have died on average since this in America since this thing has been announced. Yet, the rate of death per day of heart disease is 1,774. This is the reality, folks. Why is the country locked down over 20 people per day when 1,641 people have died of cancer? Why aren't hospitals locked down when 685 people die every day from medical errors? Folks, this is from the CDC. Go look up top 10 causes of deaths on CDC the CDC. I'm not making this stuff up. 401 people die of stroke. That's 20 times more people than of the CCP flu. Get a grip.